So how should we look at, at valuation of, let's just take mega cap mm -hmm. in general, because it's not so absolute. Just because mm -hmm. something is deemed to be overvalued in somebody's mind doesn't A, necessarily mean it is, or doesn't B, mean that it matters at all. Right. I mean, I think that both parts of that statement are true. First is, I think, on a pricing basis, when you have as much of a run-up as you've had in the Fang Am stocks, the Facebook, Alpha, you know, Alphabet, Netflix, Google. So in a sense, you go through the list. Um, it, you are more likely to be overvalued than undervalued. You don't get a 40% run-up on companies of this size without expecting some degree of overvaluation. So right now, if I look at these companies, they're all either fully valued or overvalued. Just as a contrast, at the start of this year, four of those six stocks looked undervalued. Middle of last year, all six look under, looked undervalued. So I think it's part of the boom and bust of these, these companies. And I think that if the market's going to be carried for the rest of the year, I don't think these companies can do it. So some, something else has to step in and take their place. And that's going to be tough to do because they're big companies, huge market cap companies. But I think the big ride up on these stocks is pretty much done. But how do we quantify, Professor, the AI opportunity that many of these stocks have gone up on and have seen their multiples expand by? Now, Microsoft and NVIDIA have something concrete to point to. They are direct beneficiaries of AI as it stands now. So some of that run-up is justified on those stocks. The question is how much of a run-up. The remaining stocks, it's more theory than actual numbers right now. I mean, you can't point to something at Apple and say AI created that for Apple. And I'm a little skeptical about how much AI can add to the revenues of some of these. Just because you're big tech doesn't mean you're going to benefit from AI. So I, I wait and see to see whether Meta can benefit from AI as much as Microsoft can. I don't think it can, but we just have to wait on that. What about the market overall? You know, given where interest rates are, we just had an interview, for example, with Liz Ann Saunders, who suggested that earnings expectations are not realistic, at least in, in her mind. So then that would suggest that you can't possibly justify the current valuation of the S&P if you don't think that current earnings projections are legit. You know what? I've been hearing that about earnings projections now for six quarters. And every quarter, what happens at the end of the quarter is people reset expectations. Oh, so you know what? This quarter it didn't happen, but next quarter it will. At some point in time, you got to wonder whether the people who are making these statements about earnings projections not being reasonable are perhaps themselves making an assumption that is not worthy of you know, putting into the numbers. Because, I mean, I've been watching the earnings projection. I do it every month. And it's, you know, it's low. Uh, earnings expectations are lower than they were a year ago, but not by that much, 3 4%. So in a sense, analysts seem to be projecting the, the expectation that earnings will be down because there's going to be some softening of the economy, but it's not going to be the kind of fall that puts stocks at risk. So let me last, lastly ask you, do, do you think the current market is fairly valued or not? I think given interest rates where they are and the earnings expectations uh, uh, taken at, at face value, I'm okay with the market now. Now, one or both of those numbers can be at risk, but we could have said that about the market at any point in time over the last decade. So while we wait for interest rates and inflation to play out, now I'm looking at the market and say this is about where I'd expect the market to be, given where we are on the other fundamentals. Really? Interesting. That's why we like having you, Professor. Thank you.